I'm holding in my hand a holy grail of American coins. This is an 1893 Carson City. Now, what is the Carson City Mint? Where did it come from? Why does it matter? Let's talk about it. The story of the Carson City Mint begins in 1859 with this guy, Henry Comstock. He discovered the Comstock Lode. The Comstock Lode is the first major silver ore deposit discovered in America. It's why we had the state of Nevada. It was huge. And this big discovery is also why we got that mint. They had to have one nearby so they would mine the silver. They could immediately transport it to the Carson City Mint or it could be turned into coins and distributed across the United States. Now, mining the Comstock Lode ran from 1859 to 1882. By then, most of it was dried up. However, they were still refining and turning the silver into coins. The Carson City Mint did not last long. The mint was established by Congress in 1863. However, it didn't start producing coins until 1870. They only produced approximately 56 million coins. And to give you an idea, now, granted, minting processes have changed, but in 2020, a disaster year for the mint where they were partly shut down due to COVID, they made 30 million silver eagles. Now today, the Carson City Mint, you see those two Cs? It's the only mint mark to have two letters and not one. It is the most coveted mint there is for coins. The Carson City Mint also only produced coins from precious metal. They did not make any clad coins whatsoever. So no nickels, nothing like that. And a lot of the Carson Cities you're gonna find out there are uncirculated. The two I have in front of me are not. And that is thanks to this GSA hoard, as it's known. What happened was the government did an audit and they discovered all these Carson City Morgans that were not melted down. They were struck and put in treasury vaults and they'd sat there for a long time. This right here is an original pamphlet from that auction. But it doesn't matter if it's uncirculated or circulated. Anytime you see a Carson City, they can get very expensive. This is probably the most expensive Carson City there is. There's less than 10,000 of these known. This is worth probably about $1,200 even in this condition. The Carson City Mint's mint status was withdrawn in 1899. In 1939, the state of Nevada purchased it, and it's now a museum that you can go visit. In coin Press Number 1, which is on display at the museum, it still works. You can actually go visit that mint as a tourist attraction, and if anyone working there is watching, I would love to come. And as far as this stuff goes, this is on my website. This is on my Whatnot Auction tonight. And I covered the Carson City Mint in this week's episode of Pawn Man, so be sure to check that out and like and follow for more.